Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I experienced several years ago. Uh, I went to the Gwanghwalu in Namon in Korea with my ex-boyfriend. And before I I went there with him, I heard if I went there with a lovely person, uh, our love could last forever. <laughs> to meet a couple who lives in heaven and they made they made uh, some problem to the God so they can't meet each other just except for on um, July 7 it's kind of punishment so there is a mystical place so I prayed with him to be together forever, but actually I broke up. <laughs> Me. So uh, I would like to explain the place that is named the Nam One. There is three things. The first, there is a Gwangalu in Nam One that I said before there are a lot of heritage buildings and the second there is a there is a story about a couple, a love of a couple about Gwanghalu and the third um, there is a festival is related to the story as I said before and let's put my first point As I said before, there is a Gwanghalu in Nama and there, there is a village of heritage buildings and it was made in Joseon period and the builders, builders really wanted to be a god, like a god in the heaven so they built the Gwanghalu on the ground like a king ca king's castle in the heaven and um, as I explained the Ozakyo there are lots of lots of carps fish on in the pond mm -hmm. and do you know the carps mean uh, no no. Uh, not literal meaning. Uh, they imply good meanings, many good meanings about um, wealth, health, or long life, or becoming a great person, something like that. And so, so many people come to the Gwanghwalu to pray but they, they will be able to achieve their own goals or wish. So it is designated as the treasure of Korea. The, my second point is there is a story about a love of a couple the, about Gwanghwalu. Uh, the main couple is Bong Myung and Chun Hyang. And uh, when Chun Hyang was very young, she was playing on the swing. At that time, the Bong Myung saw her and fell in love with her rapidly because she was very beautiful in Naman City. But their parents had a totally different positions at the society so they actually they couldn't get along with each other but he really liked her so he went to her house to meet her every day so they could they could get along with each other and some days he must have moved to another city when his father got in 
kind of promotion. So before he left her, he decided to promise her they would get married after he, he would get the job. So after that, he left her. And then several years later, the Pyeongsak-do, another guy, who was in charge of the new position of like a police of high level, heard about Chunyang's story. Like a, Chunyang was the most beautiful in Namun city. So actually he really liked a, liked playing with Giseng. It is the same to Geisha in Japan. So he called her and hit on her lovely. But she she kept her love for Mongyong. So after her this situation, the Mongyong heard of this situation, he decided to come back to her city to guard her from the Pyeongsak-do. And actually the Mongyong's position is much much higher than Pyeongsak-do. So Pyeongsak-do was arrested by Mongyong and they could get married and be happy. It's a very romance story and it is coming down for a long time in Korea. And uh, I am going to talk about my last point. Um, the, there is a festival. It's related to a story that I told you before. It is held. It, it is held on April twenty seventh in Korea, and it is open every day, every year, to remind us of the love of the couple. And um, the thing is about love and anybody is able to take part in the festival which has a lot of various, various kind of events and we can enjoy singing the we, we can enjoy seeing the Korean traditional dance or sing as well as some plays of Chunyang's story it is so good <laughs> and uh, I talked about the place named Namwon. There are three things. The first one is there. There is a Gwangalu in Namwon. Second is there is a story of the love of a couple about Gwangalu. The third. There is a there is a festival, and every year it is held. So during the during the festival, the most the interesting interesting thing event is the selecting selecting the most beautiful woman in Naman City can be the entertainer, like a singer or actress as a winner. And, and one of the different thing with the original uh, is kind of it's the same to Miss Korea or Miss Japan. Just uh, it's a small event though. And, uh, <coughs> the one of the different thing with Original Miss Korea is they have to wear the Korean traditional clothes like a hanbok, and uh, that's main point while watching the program. So, if you have any opportunity to watch it, this program, it's very impressive for you guys. Thank you. Wow.